greetings and welcome to our presentation on purchasing structures. We are pleased you have selected our program to become acquainted with various structures of the purchasing function within an organization. As a purchasing professional, how the purchasing department is organized and managed will ultimately affect how the buying process happens within the organization. This presentation will define and discuss types of purchasing structures and how they fit within organizations. Within a company, especially very large organizations, the purchasing department can have an internal structure where the functions of the department are divided into multiple units. There are four types of organizational structures within purchasing. These are decentralized, centralized, hybrid, and line or staff. The first structure is a decentralized purchasing structure. This type of purchasing structure gives the management of the business unit full responsibility for all of the purchasing activities and the financial results of the department. Decentralized purchasing is more prevalent in government agencies. The purchasing professional employed by government agencies have an even greater responsibility in decentralizing purchasing structures. They have a moral responsibility to spend taxpayers' money with high regard to spending it effectively. There are both advantages and disadvantages to having a decentralized purchasing structure. First, the advantages will be evaluated. The advantages are, one, reduction in the time it takes to purchase items. In other forms of purchasing structure, the process for purchasing items may take longer because purchases may have approval levels depending on among the items being purchased. There may also be certain paperwork required to be submitted along with the request to purchase, a requisition. Another advantage is, too, reduction in the cost of staff. Because each department is responsible for their own purchases and that there is no need to have a purchasing staff. Yet another advantage is, three, having a decentralized structure is an advantage when product development support is needed. Many times a purchasing department is focused on supporting the daily activities of the organization with other support that is needed equally among engineering, quality, and other departments that need to have purchases made. This especially applies to engineering when product development is happening. Just like the advantages, disadvantages are also present in the decentralized purchasing structure. One of the most prevalent and possibly most costly to the company is multiple departments within the same company negotiating with the same supplier for the same products. There are situations where the departments can even arrive at different prices for these products and different terms and conditions. Another disadvantage of this form of purchasing structure is having the same supplier working for various departments within the organization. If the supplier gets overextended and runs behind in shipping schedule, the departments are competing against each other for delivery on their order. Yet another disadvantage is not combining the purchasing power for stronger negotiation leverage with the suppliers. Unlike decentralized, a centralized purchasing structure involves coordinating and managing all purchasing activities for the entire company through one central location. The purchasing department is solely responsible for purchasing requisitions, issuing purchase orders, and selecting suppliers. The purchasing management professionals operate at the strategic and tactical level, unlike in a decentralized structure. There are advantages to having a centralized purchasing structure. One of these advantages is the ability to negotiate quantity discounts. Purchasing for an entire organization instead of just one department or division gives a purchasing professional, in some instances, a larger volume to purchase. Centralized purchasing also gives a purchasing department more authority and credibility. The buyer becomes an expert in purchasing items for the organization. A centralized purchasing structure also gives a purchasing department the opportunity to monitor industry changes that may affect the organization's ability to service customers. One important advantage is that it gives a supplier a central point of contact within the entire organization. One disadvantage of centralized purchasing is the management of individual business units has little control over purchasing of products needed for their department. Another disadvantage is that there is sometimes high engineering involvement in the procurement decision where product development is concerned. Another disadvantage is the time consumed in the coordination of purchasing for production planning to ensure parts arrive on time. Another form of purchasing structure is line or staff organization. This form of purchasing structure can be found in manufacturing organizations. There will be a corporate purchasing department that will handle the strategic purchasing. 
functions such as corporate contracts, price negotiation, and terms and conditions will be the responsibility of the corporate purchasing professional. The buyers at the plant level will place purchase orders for the plant's needs. They will use the suppliers that corporate has set up contracts with and have done the negotiations with. A hybrid structure is a mixture of the centralized and decentralized organizations. Some of the purchasing and negotiation takes place at the corporate level and some at the divisional department level. Usually in a hybrid structure, there is communication among the divisions and between divisions in corporate. The divisions are given authority to follow corporate contracts or negotiate agreements for themselves. The various types of purchasing structures are centralized, decentralized, line or staff, and hybrid and are all usable purchasing structures, each having advantages and disadvantages. Organizations can decide to follow one form of structure or choose to use multiple forms. The organization should consider these factors when deciding which structures to use, such as 1. Is there commonality between purchase requirements? 2. The geographic location of the divisions. 3. How many suppliers are available to support the organization's needs? 4. Is there opportunity to save the organization money? 5. Will the political or economic conditions cause product price to increase or decrease? 6. How will customers' demands affect the organization's buying habits? And 7. What kind of expertise is required to purchase items? Considering these questions will help the organization select the purchasing structure most suited for their organization. Thank you once again for your time and attention, and this is businesstraining.com, where you can earn a master's level qualification to make more money.